turning to alcohol to feel less shy at parties? Brace for anxiety. December, with all of its and family get-togethers, can be a nightmare for people who get nervous during social occasions. Many reach for liquid courage in the hopes alcohol will help them mix and mingle with more ease. Big mistake, A has found. Highly shy people not only didn't feel less anxious when they drank but also experienced a significant increase in anxiety the day after, suffering through an especially edgy hangover known as anxiety, British researchers noted. That may leave them tempted to seek alcohol again to self-medicate, potentially starting a vicious cycle. If we reach for a drink every time we feel anxious, that is an unhealthy relationship with alcohol, Ellen Hendrickson, a clinical psychologist and author of, told Today. She was not involved in the study. Don't drink because you feel you have to. Raise a glass because you want to. The paper focused on 97 people described as social drinkers. They first took tests to establish their baseline levels of shyness and, as well as detect any alcohol problems. Next, researchers observed the participants as they entertained friends at home. About half were instructed to drink as much as they wanted to while they socialized, while the other half were told to abstain from alcohol. Two hours into the party, each participant took a breathalyzer test and completed another questionnaire to measure his or her anxiety level. The parties then continued as before. The following morning, the participants' anxiety levels were once again measured and researchers debriefed them about their experiences. It turned out the anxiety levels of people who drank didn't change while they were, whether they were shy or not. Hendrickson was skeptical of this finding, noting it may have been different if anxiety levels were measured at the end of the evening when the alcohol really kicked in. A previous study found that for each drink consumed, social anxiety decreased by 4% two hours later, she said. Alcohol doesn't change who we are. But it does lower our inhibitions, Hendrickson noted. Ask any shy person who drinks and they will say it makes them feel less inhibited. Those who were highly shy experienced more anxiety during their hangovers the next day than others in the alcohol group even though they drank about the same amount of booze. The people who stayed sober felt the least anxious the following morning, whether they were shy or not. The findings also suggest anxiety is linked to signs of alcohol problems in highly shy people, meaning they may have an increased risk of alcohol abuse, the researchers wrote. Trust that your anxiety will improve as the evening goes on, advised Hendrickson, who works at Boston University's Center for Anxiety and Related Disorders. The highest anxiety is before you walk through the door because you anticipate all the horrible things that your imagination tells us will happen, will feel awkward, will tell a joke that falls flat, she said. Indeed, the highly shy people in the study who were told to stay sober were the most anxious ahead of their parties. But give it a shot, Hendrickson said. Treat it as an experiment. See if the terrible things that your anxiety is predicting actually happen. I can almost guarantee that they won't. We can all be kind and warm and ask questions and tell people a little bit about ourselves. Focusing on the people at the party is going to be more productive in the long run than shutting ourselves off from people at the party with alcohol," Hendrickson said.